Hi, I'm Robin with Images of Austin here in Austin, Texas. Visit us on the web at imagesofaustin.com. Now today we're going to talk about framing a mirror. Now why would you want to frame a mirror? Most mirrors are mounted on the wall, right? Well, you know, sometimes it's nice to have a nice pretty frame around the mirror to hang on the wall, which we'll show you later. Then you can take it with you when you move out. Now this is a very large mirror. Now I'm showing you this because this is probably about the size that you'd want to frame. But I'm going to use this little mirror to show you how to do it. Because it's very, you just don't want to break a mirror. Because if you do, well, you know what happens. We'll all have bad luck. It's always best to have the mirror first. Because you want to take your measurement from the mirror. Don't make your frame and then order your mirror. Now, before you frame a mirror, it's important that you have your frame built, ready to go, that fits your mirror. You don't want this old ugly edge in here to reflect back into the mirror. So you want to color it dark. You can either use latex paint, or in my case, I'm just using a black marker. So that's black. It's just nice to go ahead and clean the mirror with your glass cleaner. That's so you can get all the edges clean. Now you're going to install the mirror into your frame. Take the mirror and put it into your frame like so. And then you're going to want to have some backing cut to back the frame that you can put your nails against. This frame is three by three. Okay, now we're going to put the backing behind the mirror. Now we're going to put nails to hold that mirror in place. I'm holding this at a little bit of an angle, not to put the nails through the mirror. The nails are just holding the backing and the mirror in place into the frame. Now you're just going to take your double stick tape and you're going to want to put it along the edge of your frame. This is to adhere your dust cover. This is our paper, this is our dust cover. It can be any kind of paper. Press it down. Now we're going to want to trim off the excess of the paper using our razor blade. Just very carefully run around the edge of the frame. Now the mirror, you're going to want to decide how you're going to want to hang it. Do you want to hang it horizontal or vertical? Of course, in this case, it doesn't matter because it's a square. But you could hang it at an angle. Trusty sawtooth. And your mirror is ready to be hung. Remember, if you can't come to me as your framer, be sure and find a good one. Have a good connection with them, and don't forget to hang the picture straight. Bye-bye.